you're dead. What it do with it do guys, today is after the patch maintenance. So finally special chance came out and we're gonna quickly go do that real quick and see how she is. Or just a, like a first impression of uh, Phyllis. Yeah, Phyllis Special Chase is actually one of the easiest ones you could possibly do right now. It's, it's, it's definitely way easier than uh, release uh, Commander Lorena Special Change. Shout out for you guys that actually did Commander Lorena, which she, uh, was really good. But anyway, we got a hundred. We got to kill 150 and Graph Shades. And uh, get Phyllis a friendship for it. Then go kill Mercer and the Great First uh, Labyrinth. So if you make sure you have at least one uh labyrinth uh key the, the new labyrinth so pretty much for the uh limit the afghan shade if you click go to it i think it will see you the 9-1 but you don't want to be a 9-1 for the uh special change what you want to do is go over to one more stage over and then you want to go to 9-1 9-1 has five of them there i've been testing them out so you only need to kill 150 so around 30 of them that you need to kill on top of that it has an epic catalyst so it's pretty good. So you can knock out two birds with one stone. You can do this. You can also equip your Phyllis with the the new artifact, the Brilliance Confidence for you guys that just recently uh, started. If you guys don't have the other friendship. So pretty much increase your friendship by 100%, which is two. So for you guys that don't know how friendship works, every, st every time you do a stage, every time you complete one stage, that's one point of friendship. I think you need roughly five to get the friendship zero to one. But with this artifact, it gives you two points instead of one. So it basically doubles, it pretty much doubles. So, you know, so instead of like uh, five, doing five stages in a row, you have to do like, probably like three or two. It's really easy to get the friendship four. I got the like friendship, uh, I was already friendship four. I got the friendship five and a little bit uh, after this. But you can also give her a gift if you guys don't have any like I do, because I used them all up. But friendship four is not that bad. And for the last one, you need to defeat Mercia in the Great Farsh Labyrinth, which is actually the first one. So it's not that, uh, it's not later to the Labyrinth where you get more convoluted for you new type players, but it's actually pretty, uh, it's very at the start. We're going to go straight to the end of the, the zone for Mercia. Also, for you guys that didn't get Fresh of 4 when farming 150 uh, Afghan chance, you can, you can do it inside the Labyrinth. If you camp right now, and you, uh, let me show you an example. Make sure you bring Phyllis if you're gonna camp, and make sure you have the most people that gave her uh, morale and friendship. So if I do Charlotte, you wanna get the highest amount of uh, triangles. There is a website you can see who uh, works well with Phyllis, or give you the most morale. And, and when you do that, whatever morale you get will go to your friendship. So she gave four morale, four friendship. That makes you get four total friendship in total. It's pretty much like equivalent to like doing four stages. Uh, two and then one friendship. So you're not getting much out of this, but you want to get the highest amount of friendship or morale for the uh, Phyllis. So bring her to the comp stake and do that if you guys don't have friendship. It helps out a bit, actually, if you do it a couple of times. You have spare uh, Labyrinth Key. By the way, there's no kill Mercer. I don't think my units are here just to... I don't think my units can kill Mercer. Interesting. I don't know if she has like damage reduction. Mm. I do know she hits hits pretty nicely, dude. Boom! Hit it for three thousand. That's really weak. But I tested this before, and you actually have to clear the portal in order to, for it to count. You can't just uh, retire. So there we go. Eliminate the specific hero in the labyrinth. So you actually have to complete the stage. So. Make sure you have an extra labyrinth key because you will be wasting one, essentially. You can also try to get as much ancient coins out of here if you want. It's up to you or you just want to kill Mercy. So you guys see my pillars, right? She is on a revenge set and she is kind of a crit, crit damage-y uh, type of pillars. I do want to change her build a bit because now that I actually see her specially change, this is one thing I didn't really like, commit to her. Or her um, I didn't really 90 a lot of things because I didn't really want to commit to like cemented her build until I see what her special change was because it could change the whole way she plays like she can't crit no more but she gains to take reduced damage and stuff like that uh so effectiveness at the beginning increase speed I'm gonna do increase speed because it's at the bottom right here in order to get to this one we gotta do the first row we gotta continue to the first row and over we gotta connect these two Pre his chance. Alright. 
Chris Cabaret is by 15% enemy attack by enemy flooded with provoke or redirect provoke. Uh, when a caster is attacked by counter attack, something like that, except for the caster, uh, has a chance to decrease damage by 30%, which is pretty nice. We're gonna test this out. Has a 100% chance to decrease it by 30%. Now we just uh, pick and choose. These are the main ones I think I'll focus on. The speed, the HP regen, because you need to get over to the hit chance to actually hit Violet. Get get this, because you have to get that to end up to get the 30% uh, the reduction. But that's all I can get. I made her, she's plus 21 right now. I will finish her off when the heart room come around, but for the second video, we'll replace her ring with this. HP ring with crit damage and uh, some effectiveness. So we're gonna test out this team against, you know, this is a prime example of arena defense right now in uh, one of my challenger. But we got Phyllis, you know, there's a lot of counter attacks. She kind of reduce, uh, reduce counter attack by 100%, 100 chance to reduce it by 30% once you get counter attack. But at the same time, I brought LQC for an example of damage reduction. So you can have two damage reductions, right? Hers uh, reduced damage other by crit. Uh, they reduce it by 10%, by the way. But it increased hers by 30%. So you get the idea. Whichever one's stronger is applied. So if we get auto attacks, right? And it's not a counter attack, LQC will uh, take priority over uh, Pillars. If we get if violate counter attacks pillars right, then hers will take effect over the crit damage because it's thirty percent, and hers is ten. So that's how even even if it was a crit, that's how that's how the damage uh, that's how the damage reduction works. Now since we have a damage reduction, we can we can have a damage share meaning we can have Orius on somebody else. I wouldn't recommend giving Orius to uh, uh, pillars if your HP is under like twenty thousand or something like twenty one thousand, because then she'll just take too so much true damage she'll just follow her and die. But I do recommend, I, I kind of recommend uh, Healing Lance because most of the time when you do, when you do provoke somebody, they will S1 and it counts as a single target. Maybe. Maybe I, I forgot, maybe that's not how that works. I think when somebody else gets hit by a single target, right? So I just put up immunity. So you put up immunity and we're going to attack Violet. So see this. You that violet sword. didn't do anything. So LQC damage share, which I mean damage reduction, would take effect. I'm here for you. Elaine Lance. And we're gonna hit violet with this uh, juicy S3. Three thousand six hundred. That's not bad considering that my defense is fifteen hundred, not like twenty thousand. And we have 212 uh, defense break and 100% crit chance. I will so, grace. I, I still think going full tank would be your better option. But I do recommend at least having a 100% crit rate because doing, be able to do 100% more damage is nice. So I'm going to dunk her on the head and probably kill everybody. But I brought Marana as an example because most likely you probably bring Marana and her together for counterattack units. Shall we test fate? Unfortunately, she is slow as dirt, by the way. I will protect them, no matter what. Oh my god, this unit looks so sick. I and like I, I love like nice to have a, a SNS, a sword and shield, you know, boom, shield, sword in one hand. I do like Ross looks weird because he has like he's like a you ever play World of Warcraft? He's like a Death Knight. He's like a sword and that's it. But he's tanky his balls. This is why I like C uh, Cecilia, right? Cecilia got a a short and a big old lance. I don't know. I, I like short characters. Same with Armin. Have you noticed most of my knights are just sword and shield? <laughs> when he's like, ch -ch -ch. okay, I'm a f I'm I'm just slap this man on the face. A thousand, so yeah. She doesn't hit that hard, up, obviously, so she's a support, purely a pure. I know there'll be somebody out there that'll make some really big damage to uh, uh, Pillis. But for mines right now, I'm going to be making her a pure tank after this. So, no, don't worry about my build. Just just focus on what's, what she can do. All right, we're going to test against this team. They have uh, Seaside, Bologna, Senia, Violet, and uh, Lilius. But this time we brought Shu instead of uh, LQC this time. time Why? I don't know. But I'm assuming that everybody that has Marana will have a, a, a pillars around. So with these two together, you're pretty much 
invulnerable to like counterattack. You might as well they might as well just cry because this whole point of counterattack, right? So if I'm gonna counterattack, we heal that up. She's give she's gonna give herself counterattack, so it's gonna be really good. You've made it this far. But every time they counterattack, I'm pretty sure they increase uh, combat rating this up because of Rana, but also because of uh, Phyllis if they're provoked. But I don't think I have that room yet. So boom, this kind of an extra attack, by the way. So know that that this will also reduce the damage for uh, Seaside Bologna. Only a thousand. Maybe worth my. Which is pretty great considering that uh, Seaside Bologna is getting more and more screwed over by the by the years, right? The book book. He only did two thousand. He only healed up for five hundred. So he didn't get healed up for much, so we're gonna S3 because we can't possibly miss. But she also dispelled uh, one debuff from from all your allies. So I got rid of the anti-buff and stuff like that. Which is nice. We're gonna keep hitting violet to see. Boop, boop. He only healed for a hundred. Yeah. Since he get reduced damage for so much, he's not gonna heal as much because we keep reducing the damage for counterattack. So Violet is actually ruined against uh Phyllis, but we already knew that. Boom. Bop, bop. And since they're counterattacking, Rana is pushing us up. Yo, so if you guys have trouble with uh, Violet, I do say build, build uh, Phyllis. So she was able to miss with her S1 because we're blinded. Boop, boop. He only healed for 100. So yeah, he's not healing as much because he's not doing as much damage to, you know, your team because we also have anti crit in. Things. So the less damage that he does, the less he heals, obviously. We're gonna still burn because we don't have nothing to still burn this. Kill him off. Counterattack. 700. Damn, shoe. So, yeah, I do say that Pillis is gonna be fine in RTA, honestly. I like how the RTA is now shifting because of her. And I don't know about Moonlight Selene because I have a pull for her. Alright, that was a little bit of what Phyllis could do. Obviously, my gear is not up to stiff, and uh, I've been Challenger 5, so it's not really much of a challenge. Uh, you guys probably want to see me do an RTA, but unfortunately, I want to change up my uh, Phyllis gear up some more. But I do think she's a really great unit for Violets, and uh, anybody that counterattacks, pretty much anybody that counterattacks, she will ruin them because pretty much you don't, she don't take any damage, right? And I think with Orius, you could definitely run it with Orius since they take a reduced damage. You take little, like less damage from the counterattack, so you won't take as much from Orius damage uh, being you know, funneled into you. So all around, it is good. And on top of that, she heals for 3% of her max HP each, each time she goes. So, but as you guys know, I don't have the full skill tree uh, kitted out. If I did, then we get 50% combat readiness whenever we uh, S3 a taunted per, uh, unit or use her S3. On top of that, she also dispels one buff from it, so that's pretty good. I think she's going to be a staple of RTA for quite a bit until uh, evasions or just counter units in general. I think she, just, she specifically counter counter units in general. Even though um, Ram still put the unhealable on, she dispels it, so it's not that bad. And usually, 9 out of 10, you're probably being Rona and Pillars together. So that's a, it's a pretty good combo. But I think she she hards kind of violent. There's nothing violent could do against her, honestly. Like if 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 you pick a if they first pick violent and they bring it and you bring a uh, pillars, they're gonna have to 100 percent ban or violent is actually just a useless character. They can't. You also can bring Wanda, and then you can make it even more useless. But it feels bad. You also run a lot of other evading characters, but I think counter is gonna be your main focus. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I know it was pretty short. Maybe I don't know if it was. My thing says an hour, but I hope I'm going to cut it down to like at least 19 to get you guys out there and start farming. Uh, you guys can check out my live stream. It's somewhere on the screen to the left of me or in the description below. I'll probably be doing some RTAs all day and do some episode 4 if you guys catch me quickly. Other than that, I might be playing Revive Witches later. And then I think I'm going to be playing Battlefield 2042 all tomorrow. So, yeah. See you guys around. Peace. <laughs>